Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bez of Efrat here in New York. Baruch Hashem. We're going to continue our lessons in Lekutei Halachas. Baruch Hashem. Uh, we're in Lekutei Halachas Hilchas Tzitzis. And we're in Halacha ha- uh, Hey. And today we're going to begin uh, Halacha Hey. We're in Hey, Hey. Hey, Hey. Like Amar of Hey, Hey. All right, anyway, the Rebbe says, we were talking about this wonderful idea of uh, being uh, Mesak in the Medama, right? People have, um, people have, we all have a, 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 a imagination. And unfortunately, our imagination these days is, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, what's the right word to use? Is, uh, is uh, wavered by, by uh, things that we see by uh, uh, media and different things like that. And then we wind up thinking and wondering about other, uh, about the, about things and we don't understand why and the mind starts to wander and it starts to imagine all different things based on TV and movies and all these things. And it changes the way a person thinks. It changes the whole Koyach HaMedame. Hashem should protect all you. So the Rebbe is going to continue today. He's going to explain to us how, how that the uh, through tzitzis, through the a uh, of gashmi, through a, a physical garment, how that can help correct our kaya chamedam, our imagination, and set it on track. When we say set it on track, we mean that a person can imagine that he can do amazing things. A person can imagine that he can. He can have his body do this every day. A person can imagine that he can daven with the Nate's minion every day. A person can imagine he can learn the daf yoyim. A person can imagine he can he can finish all shulchan aruch. A person can imagine the amazing things. Train the kaya chamedame to imagine things in a positive way. So the Rebbe says today, Kimivaya b'seifa tay right now, ois yud beis. The Rebbe says like this in the Tiku, mm, okay, al uh, And the Torah is based on Tiku b'chayzu shayifu b'kesel diyam chagenu. Famous thing the Rebbe said the Torah on Rosh Hashanah. Famous words of Rosh Hashanah. Shekola ta'orim v'ashvachim sh'onu m'shabchen u'fuar in oisay yizborach heim b'chinas hamedam. All of these things that we praise HaKadosh Baruch HaKel, HaKadu HaKiva, VaNoira, Kel El Yoyim, right? And we, we say uh, in, in, in Yishtabach, all the beautiful pra- all the beautiful praises that we praise the Rabbeinu Shalom. These are all, these are all, um, um, what's the right word? These, Medam, it's all in imagination. We don't really understand what it means. We know the Rabbeinu Shalom is not physical. So, and nothing about the Rabbi Nishlam is physical. Nothing about the next world is physical. It's all, it's all, it's all spiritual. And because it's all spiritual, it's all, it's nothing to do with physicality. So it's really a medam. It's we we're imagining what these things are. We're imagining. And in other words, we're, 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 we're imagining the greatness of our Kaddish Baruch Hu. Because when it comes to Rebbe, Rebbe Nassim is saying here, because of the inner seichel of ourselves, our inner intellect. Right? HaKadosh Baruch Hu is really much higher than any kind of praise we could praise Him. All of these praises that we have are only there for us to... Give us a connection to the Rabbi Nishlam. But really, the praises, when we pray, praise HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we're not allowed to use any other praises other than what Chazal instituted us to praise the Rabbi Nishlam. Because they gave us the license to how to praise the Rabbi Nishlam. Okay, and that's what we, we can do. We can't, we can't praise Hashem other ways. We are allowed to do praise HaKadosh Baruch Hu based on the ways that Chazal taught us to do. Yeah, all of those things... But really, but really, it's not, it's not shy to give the Rabbi Yishlam any kind of these praises because HaKadosh Baruch Hu, like we said, is, is Mekai Mai Shel Oilam Ve'ena Oilam Mekai Mai. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is everything. So how do you praise that? 
Ike kol ha-shvachem v'toyim al-Hashem v'baruch hu rak b'chines ha-medamim. It's all this idea of imagination. We can imagine what the Rabbi Yishlam is. We can imagine, we can, we can feel some kind of a connection to the Rabbi Yishlam. But it's not... But it's not, but this is what Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi Nassim brings from Rabbi Nachman in, 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 in lesson Tikkur Bachoidis. Oh, wow, it's lesson eight in, in Tinyana, right? All right, so, so, but the Rabbi says, Shekola Torah Vashwachim, Shemeshapchen, the Fuadim, Machapten, Megadlin, Eshima Yizbarach. She said, Bechin is Hoid Vahoda. All of that is the Hoid Vahoda, Levashta. Well, what is this, really? Because, because, because we're, we're being Megala, we're being, we're revealing, we're revealing that the Haid Vahadar, the splendor, the splendor, the yaif, the beauty, the beauty. That's beginners, it's an aspect of, of, of garments. Like we say, like we say on Friday night, <laughs> okay, and 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 uh, Rabbi Yochanan, cover the menayu mechabdusa. We know Rabbi Yochanan, Holy Rabbi Yochanan called his garments his covet. The garments were his covet. We saw this before. Nimsa shall levushim ein bechinas covet. So levushim are covet. What does it mean they're covet? And there's ways giving the Rabbi Yishlam covet through the shvash, through the praise, and the garments themselves are called covet. So now we're making the connection from tzitzis to Hakadosh Baruch Hu's covet. Okay, Ba'ainu. Shebechinas hakovet v'ahada v'shevach shemechaptin m'shapchen afuad noisei yisbarach m'shapchen v'shvachim v'toharim shekol zehu bechinas koyach hamedame. All of that is the bechin of koyach hamedame. It's all of our imagination. Kizehu bechinas levushim. This is the garment, and this is the garment. She, uh, uh, that a kodesh baruch hu she nikroim kavod mechinas megalim. It's revealing a kodesh baruch hu's kavod. Ral kehin and therefore Reb Nelson says ayedei ashvachim v'atorim through the different praises and through the different names that we call the kodesh baruch hu that that we have permission to call Hashem sheim bechinas. This is the clarity of our medame. This is clarifying our Madama, training our Madama to, to, to imagine holy things, to connect ourselves to the Rabbi Shalom. In other words, we don't have to, let's say, turn on a movie and turn on this. We can imagine in our tefillah the grandeur, the greatness of our Kodesh Baruch Hu, what it's like in Shemayim, what Gan Eden is like. We can imagine these things. We don't have to imagine the things that the that the that the uh, um, the media tells us that we have to imagine. No, we can. We have our own. We have our own. We can. We can use that to be megala. Our we can, we can lift up our our megdama. We can clarify our. We can clarify our imagination, and we can be and we can raise it. Umalin is kolaylamis. We could raise up all the worlds. We could raise every. We can cause a Elias, I love his mamish. We could raise up worlds. How can we raise up world, worlds? Because because we we when 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 a kodesh baruch hu when a, when we recognize Hashem, we put a kodesh baruch hu in charge of everything. Then a kodesh baruch hu is mamish mekoy moishaloyla, and a kodesh baruch hu runs everything in the world. We cause we cause everything to be raised up. And we don't, we take it away from the other side that's trying to show that they're in charge, that they have power. It's all about, it's all about power and money and this and that. Shtuyot, mamash, garbage. It's garbage. We have to recognize that we have to use, train our koyach hamedame to the rabbi nishlein. This is what we need to do. Ki kloli is kaloi lama is heim bechinas levush in the malka. Because all of the world, all of the world, kaloi lama is, Hein bechinas levushim the malach. These are the these are the the levushim of the melech of a kodesh bar. These are the levushim kayadua. Because because why is that? Because kiviyachol the the atzmas of a kodesh baruch hu. You can't be typhus at all the the the, the atzmas of a kodesh baruch hu. And therefore, through praising a kodesh baruch hu with the different names. It's like a garment that raises up the worlds. 
and they are the levushim of the Rabbi Shalom. The same way we can't touch our intellect. You can't touch something in your mind. Right? It's the same idea. It's a muscle for the nimshal. We can't touch anything. The Rabbi Shalom is not tangible. It's not something tangible. Not Kodesh Baruch Hu. But, but we can still, we can still praise the Rabbi Shalom. It's a garment. Ki koyach hamedame shemisham shvachem atarim. From the koyach hamedame comes the, with the idea of praising the Rabbi Shalom. Gam ru bechinas levushim. That is also a levush. The same way the Rabbi Shalom is really mekoy meishaloylam. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is inclusive of everything of the world. He is everything of the world. And yet, and yet HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, 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 is part of it. He's part, he is it. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it's a levush, so to say. But the Rabbi Yisrael itself is not tangible. So too, so too the, the idea of praising the Rabbi Yisrael is, a, is something that's not tangible. And that's considered a levush of the seichel, of our mind. Of our mind, the Kayach HaMedame, when we train it, when we, the imagination, we train it, we can enclose in the imagination. Unbelievable. All right, they, uh, this is, this is the, our, our, our ability to, to, to fashion in our minds and to, be, and, and to grasp onto something of Seichel. So then, now, when a person can work on, and, on clarifying his, his Kayach HaMedame, when he can work on clarifying his imagination through the praise of the Rabbi Nishalaylam, through that, he's Ma'al, and he can raise up all of the worlds. Because all of the worlds are all the Levushim of what? Lava Kodesh Baruch Hu. And, and, that's, and that's pretty much what it is. When we work on our Levush of our mind, which is the Kaya Hamedama, and we can praise the Rabbi Yishlam, we can fathom and, and imagine the, 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 the grandeur of the Rabbi Yishlam. Through that, we can cause the, the Aliyahs of all the Alamis. Unbelievable. The Chala Begadim Agashmi, Tiyesh, all the Begadim Agashmi that we wear, they are drawn, Nimshachim, and they come down, Mi Bechines Hamedame, they come down from this Koya, from this Koya Hamedame, they come down from the Koya Hamedame, Shu Alevush of the Seichel. This whole idea, the whole, the, the whole thing of Levushim, is what we're learning is the same way. I call it Baruch the Levush, so to say, of all of the Alamas and everything. So too is our intellect, our mind, the Levush. All of our garments are considered the Levush. It was all the Levush, Hamedame, Shel Levush, Shel Aseichel, Val Kena, Yidei Ois, or hatzitzis through the light of the tzitzis shenimshach. That light of the tzitzis is drawn, is coming from that highest, highest place the, the, of the koyach of the medame, coming from that. The bal koyach has the tzadik has the koyach to fight with the sitracha. Shall you date fi losek bechinas din? Through the tzaddik's koyach of its tefillah, which is a din, we're learning so much about this tefillah bedin. What's a tefillah bedin? When I don't feel like I want to daven, but I push myself and I make myself daven. That's a tefillah shebedin. That's a, that could be a tefillah shebedin. And if I dive in that way, we learned, we could mamish go into the throat of the Sitra Acha and all that he stole from us over the years, all of those tefillahs that never went anywhere, that he swallowed up. We can go in there with this tefillah Shabbatin and we can pull them out and we can raise them up. And that's another idea of the Aliyah Sailamais. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Umevar. And we can now clarify the Medam Eshayachal Adam says that we can now imagine our Kaddish Baruch Hu in our own way. Everyone understands Hashem in a different way. In a different way. Through that, a person comes to the Shia Shal Chesed. What's the Shia Shal Chesed we said? The same thing connected to the Tzitzis. Why is the Tzitzis connected to Chesed? Because we said the Tzitzis is connected to 72. What's the gematria of, seven, uh, of, 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 uh, of chesed, right? You have the ches is eight, the samach is 60, 68, and four. 68 and four is what? 72. We said that the shia, that the, that the, the, the kina from David, uh, of Mashiach Sidkenu, his heart is going to have 72 strands on. Our tzitzis is also 72. Remember how our tzitzis was 72? Because we have four corners. 
on each one of the quarters, we have four strings. Each string is folded into two. All right, we make eight. Each string is shazur, is, is, is twisted. Each string is actually two. So each one, if you have eight strings and a two is 16. So 16 on each corner. So 16, 32, right? And 32 and 32 is 64. And then you have eight strings make 72. And that's how our tzitzis is connected, is connected to the, to the, to the chesed. Tzitzis is chesed. HaKadosh Baruch gave us the tzitzis, the greatest chesed that Hashem gave us tzitzis. The greatest, greatest chesed. Because tzitzis is connected to chesed, as we just said. Shemisham shoyrish, kedusha schutei yatzit. That's where the kedusha of the, the strings, the kedusha of the strings are the tzitzis. Through the strings of the tzitzis, halolu. Onu me miskanin esa we could, we can, 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 we can fix, we can fix misakni, we can fix our begodim begashmiyin. Shem tzok mechinis koyach that come from this whole idea of the koyach amedam. The whole thing a person imagines what he's going to wear and this and it's all imagination. It's all an imagination. Really, the main garment, as we said, is what is the tzitzis. The main garment is the tzitzis because the tzitzis can, tr- can train a person's kaya chamedame. Kedesha niske be kaya chazer, therefore a person can marry with this kaya of the tzitzis, of, of the begotten. Levara gam et sleinu. It can come and help us, us, with our minds. Es pechines kaya chamedame. It can mamish help, help us with our imagination. We don't have to be fearful. We don't have to have the anxiety. We could mamish imagine good things, good things. And instead of imagining doomsday and everything is bad, everything is terrible, everything, no, it's not terrible, everything is gewaldic. And we can imagine it. We could train the kaya chamedam. We could train our mind. Tu bechines habegodim. That's the levushim of the seichel. Because we said that the whole idea of the Mekayah Chamedame, that's the levush of the seichel. It's the, it's the, it's the garment of our intellect. The intellect is the garment that, that, that surrounds our mayach, our mind. Kedesha niske lemuna shleima to, for us to come to true emuna. Kedesha niske lehamin bishleimus be yechuda yevachdu se yezbarach. To believe mamish in the oneness and the unity of HaKadosh Baruch Hashu Echad. There's nothing, only our Kaddish, but that's the main thing that we have to believe. And the main thing is, Kaddish Baruch is always renewing everything. Everything is new. It's not the same old. Yes, people, how are you? Same old, same old. No, it's nonsense. The world is mamish brand new. This is what, what's going on. Every moment the world is new, is new. Every reg of a reg, every single moment. Shazay Yisayid HaKol, this is the secret to everything. This is the secret. Kamavoy b'moke imacha b'divar Rabbeinu Zal. As Rabbi Nachman taught us in, 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 uh, in Torah, in Torah Zion, in a letter Yud. She tzitzis mesugal le'emunah. Tzitzis is mesugal to emunah. Because you believe in the chesed. You believe in the kinar of Mashiach Tzitkenu, the 72 strings. Ayin shah. The five knots that we have, that we have on each one of the uh, one, uh, on each one of the corners of the tzitzis, in order to accept that Shema Yisrael, Shema Yisrael. When we when we take the tzitzis, and we take the tzitzis together when we say Shema. And that's the sight of Amunah. The whole thing is Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad. That's the secret of Amunah. Rule Kabel Chamisha Neiman the Kino the David. David Amelech also had five on his on his harp. David Amelech had five strings connected to the five books of the Torah. Meishra by Torahs Meishra Beinu connected to the five books of the Tehillim, right? That was on David Amelech's Kino. 
Right, that was on David and 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 and, uh, and David Amelech, David Amelech's kina was something so special, was something so special that we know that David Amelech's kina, it would he had it, he had his kina, his harp was on his window, and he had the window open, and the window was cut, was blow, the the northerly wind was blowing towards it, and exactly at Chatzos Laila every night, every night by Chatzos Laila the kina would start to play a song, the most beautiful melody from the from the from the from the ruach tzefainis from the northerly wind, which is a wind of din. David Amelech was able to transform the whole idea of din and turn it into Chesed. This is David Amelech. The whole idea, the whole idea, the chutim and the tzitzis is showing the hashkochas Hashem that's going to be megal, it's going to be revealed in the, in, in the end of time, in the times of Yemai Mashiach. But now, now Rav Nossin says that he has to explain to you the, the kesher. Now he explained to us the, the connection. And the, and be between clarity of the medama of clar f- fixing our mind, and emun, and the, now we know the emun of the tzitzis, right? So now we're going to do, we're going to explain now, we're going to explain now the the, the kesher, we're going to explain now the the connection and tzitzis lekriyishma. Now look what he says now. Valkain kavu lekroy parsha tzitzis bekriyishma. And therefore, Chazal instituted that we say the parsha tzitzis vayem Hashem amaysha davin yisom ato leim lasalhem tzitzis. The parsha of tzitzis is in kriyashma. It's part of kriyashma. Ba'al kein gam loichin esa tzitzis biyadayu b'shas kriyashma. And therefore, we take the tzitzis from the four quarters and we take them all together. We take all the tzitzis together. We learned that when we do that, we could be grabbing 700 yidin from all over the world, 700 from each corner, 2,800 yidin. We could gather together, we learned. Ay, ay, ay. When we take the tzitzis together, and we have in mind, we want to bring yidin back. We want to bring yidin back. If every yidin would take his tzitzis and have in mind to bring back 2,800 yidin. Oh, how beautiful that would be. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. As we know that tzitzis is the tikkun abigodim, like we learned so much, which is the same thing as tikkun abigodim, is tikkun abigodim, fixing my imagination. That shleimus, when the ki'ika shleimus emuna, who are they beira abigodim? You're going to fix your emuna by fixing your imagination. Fixing and imagining it, that the rabbinu shleim is ein oid milvadi. You have to imagine that. And through fixing your kaya chamedam, you can fix your moon. It's one of the same. And therefore, when we say kriyashma, then we're 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 being we're we're, we're awakening this idea of moon. And we said in the Chazal Institute that we put the parsha of tzitzis to grab the tzitzis when we're reading the kriyashma. That at the time when we say the kriyashma, in order to fix the tzitzis and our amuna, the tzitzis will help fix our amuna, will fix the kaya chamedama. Val kein kol mitzvah sa Torah. And therefore all the mitzvahs of the Torah is kulay toli teluya be tzitzis. All the mitzvahs of the Torah is dependent, mamish dependent on tzitzis. Kamei shekasa verisem aisa yuschartem is kol mitzvah is Hashem. You remember all of the mitzvahs, the 613 mitzvahs. And we said why? Because the last letter of the, of, of the Torah is what? Le'enei kol Yisrael, Yisrael. The last letter is Lamed. And the first letter in the Torah, Kedesh, is what? Bays, Bereshes. And the Tzitzis in that's Lamed and Bays. That's 32. Lave. Lave. And then while we said the Tzitzis has each, each corner has eight strings on it. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. So when you see it, then you remember the whole Torah. Because if you're going to keep the Torah, it's, you have to have a Muna. If a person doesn't have a Muna, he's not going to keep the Torah. You see how people fall away, fall away today. Unbelievable. Oh, Hashem should protect all Yidin and all that went away should come back. Oh, they should all come back through the Kayach of the Muna when we, when Mechazek, ourselves with our tzitzis, to have in mind to bring back everybody, to bring everyone back when we pull our tzitzis together. Because all of the mitzvahs is totally in the secret of the Muna. All the mitzvahs. And we have to believe, we have to believe, 
We have to mamish believe that we're commanded of all of the mitzvahs. And boy, Chaba Kuk, and the Rebbe says now, Vehemdin, and the, and the Chaba Kuk came, and Chaba Kuk said that what did he say, Al Achas? He said, On one, on one, and what is that? The Tzadik, the Munasa Yichya. The Tzadik, with his Emuna, will he live? The Amech Kulam Tzadikim, we're all Tzadikim. And we all have to be Mechazik our Emuna. Tzitzis can help be Mechazik the Emuna. Tzitzis is the chesed. Tzitzis is, 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 is the, is the kino of Mashiach Tzitkenu. Tzitzis is the fixing the levush, misakin the levush, and fixing our garments. What's the main garment we have to fix is the mind, the intellect. What's the intellect that fixes the kaya chamedame, our imagination. Via us training our imagination to think of good things. Via us training our imagination and, and connecting to the rabbinu shalalom. Via us training our, 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 our minds and recognizing Hashem is ein oid milvadai and Hakadosh Baruch is mekoy mei shaloylam and kol mad the oved v'achman the letav oved shivisi Hashem the negdi summit. When we work on imagining all of these things, and Mitz Hashem will see the biggest, biggest, biggest Yeshuas for Klai Yisrael with, with the coming of Mashiach. Be karvi amenu, amen. Kol tov, everybody.